Before I came to Olin, I had never used a wrench before except for some IKEA projects. You learn really quickly and you learn a lot of things and it's a really exciting place to dive into. So many challenges are thrown at us. Working it out with other people and then finally getting to something like, wow, I can't believe we actually solved this thing. It's pretty cool. Olin is a small engineering school focused on innovation and hands-on learning. The hands-on approach to learning here is a big differentiator from other schools because students are building stuff from the second they get in the school. We can rethink the entire approach to undergraduate engineering education. At Olin, students are on a first name basis with their professors, and that makes them more accessible. My professors really push me out of my comfort zone, and I know they really mean it when they tell me to try anything and don't fear failure. Olin doesn't have separate academic departments that allows for people to work with each other in ways that I've never seen at other institutions. It is truly possible for a material scientist and a physicist and an environmental engineer to all teach together. And as a new faculty member, having the input of someone else who's in the room with you has been invaluable. We have a unique opportunity at Olin for students. They all get significant scholarship here, and that allows us to build a more diverse community. Knowing that behind the scenes throughout my four years here, there's donors and people that care about my education enough to support it. That makes learning here a lot more meaningful and very validating. Part of what we believe at Olin is not just that we should be good engineers, but that we should be contributing positively to the world around us. Oliners and Olin professors are jointly working towards making lives better for a lot of people. Olin's approach allows for people to not only learn their subject, but they learn how to learn. And that is something that will serve them for the rest of their life. I used to think that I want to build a cool robot, but now it's how can I build something that'll improve someone else's life using that same technology, but for something so much more meaningful?